welcome to Death Row, where some things just ain't fail, but it's all part of the crusty game. So I had a question from Meter Venter, Metal Venter. Are those cars worth more smashed? What do you do with them after they are smashed? Certain cars are worth crushing, and then some cars are not worth crushing just because of the simple fact of the parts. Because you can make a lot more money in parts than you can actually selling a car whole sometimes. You know? I mean, just like right now, how my partner Ayo, he's doing right now. So basically what he's doing is he's buying, he's buying some good cars, but instead of crushing them, he's actually parting them out to make more money off of them. That way, that way once he do crush them, he just basically is crushing the shell and crushing whatever, you know, whatever, um, whatever that's left, you know, doors or whatever that didn't sell or a trunk lid or hood or something, or maybe the motor didn't sell, so maybe he'll scrap the motor, you know? And then basically, as you can see, as I get done crushing these cars, I actually get them wrapped up and we get them ready to load up on the truck, like as you see right now. So basically, this is how everything is done. It's a process and everything and how everything works and how it moves, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes some things, some, some things are not meant to be crushed, but these guys, they go ahead and crush them anyhow, because the simple fact is they don't like sitting on some things, especially like, uh, Ronnie and Victor, they don't like sitting on cars, you know what I mean? If they can sell whatever little parts they can, then they go ahead and sell them parts. Then, then right after that, after that, then it's like, hey, G, go ahead and smash them up right quick. You know what I'm saying? And then... After I get done crushing these cars, having my little fun, making my little videos, I end up calling a heifer. I'm like, hey, man, uh, I got a load over here. We can you send me a truck? Or, you know what I'm saying, do you got a truck available to send up over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a couple minutes. Give me a couple minutes. Okay. You know, he ended up calling the truck driver. Truck driver be up over here within 30 minutes to three or four hours. Depends on how busy they are, how many loads they're moving, what all. I mean, not loads they're moving, but what all loads they're taking and what all equipment they have to move. You know, because we don't just only move our equipment, but we help move other people's equipment too also. You know? But I mean, it is what it is. How that baby is done just like that. That's how it's done. Come on, Joel. And that's how it's all done, just like that. It takes me less than 10 minutes to load up one of these, and boom, I'm already done. <laughs> 